And new this morning, we have reaction from locally elected representatives on both sides of the aisle. And in rare form, Democrats and Republicans appear to be united in condemning yesterday's violence. 17's Anton Tom Wallace joins us now with that. And with House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy's message from the House floor. Aton? Alex McCarthy addressed fellow members of Congress last night, getting personal and calling for peace and unity. It was the saddest day I've ever had as serving as a member of this institution. A sad day, said Congressman Kevin McCarthy, as he spoke before the House of Representatives just hours after this. Violent rioters stormed the Capitol, getting into the chambers, breaking windows, stealing property, and clashing with police. The situation escalating and turning deadly. As of this morning, four people died, including one woman shot by Capitol Police. The violence, destruction, and chaos we saw earlier was unacceptable, undemocratic, and un-American. While the Capitol was on lockdown, Democratic Congressman Jim Costa, who once represented Kern County and now represents Fresno, was in the middle of it. He hid and sheltered in place in the gallery. We saw a group of people uh, that uh, decided that they would take the law into their own hands and take upon a treasonous act, because that's what this is, a treasonous act. They were urged on by the president, sadly, and they stormed the Capitol to disrupt our process. Congressman David Valadeo, not in Washington due to a positive COVID-19 test, called the behavior of the violent mob absolutely abhorrent and un-American. In a statement, he said, quote, I denounce this behavior to the fullest extent. We are so much better than this. Let's show the country the mob did not win. We have a job to do it, let's do it with pride, and let's be better when the sun rises tomorrow. With that, I yield back, Madam Speaker. So when the House reconvened, McCarthy and 120 other members, Republican members of Congress, formally voted yes to object to the results presidential results out of Arizona. Now that was 121 total Republicans who voted yes to object to the Electoral College votes in Arizona. Not included David Valadeo because he is not there present because he tested positive for COVID-19. Now in the end, the Congress voted down the objection. So you see here the final results, 303 to 121. So that objection for those results in Arizona ultimately did not succeed.